Happy Wednesday traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Alright, another day in Wall Street and guess what? Another all-time high. After ending the previous session modestly higher, stocks showed a lack of direction over the course of the trading day on Tuesday and as you hear me preaching my traders buy the dips is the most successful strategy in this market. The computers are already programmed to buy even a minor dip and this is one of the things we actually played yesterday. So looking on the SPY chart, this is a 5 minutes chart of the SPY, it moved in the first hour from a green territory to a negative territory and this is where my by the deep sense is starting to sniff around in order to join the computers and buy the dips. Now, the market went, uh, uh, just look how this bar is just on the big round number $255 per share and the market went in one way from high of the day to low of the day. But this is not a real selling pressure, which means it is buyable. After creating a reversal bar just on the round number 255, I bought the SPY just above it, one cent above it, that was above 255.13 and hold it till the end of the day. And of course the uh, market as it used to close the day at the high of the day. You can of course may use other financial vehicles like the UPRO or SPXL to gain even a leverage exposure on one of these juicy ETFs. They just work the same. Learn this approach as this is one of the best strategy to implement in the last couple of years if you want to really build your fortune. All right, and this is the trade of the day and Netflix, yes, we nailed that one. Yesterday I laid out in front of you my trading plan for trading Netflix after its results. I showed you that despite the fact that um, Netflix has a great tendency to go up after its earnings report and indeed I made so much money from gaps of uh, uh, gaps to the upside of 15% and 20% in the first reaction day of the stock to its report yesterday was nothing but to expect a sell the news reaction. Now if you missed the video with the trading plan regarding Netflix just take yesterday's pre-market preview video, you are going to learn a lot of it. So entering the day with a short bias on Netflix, I just waited on the sidelines for the opportunity to present itself. And indeed, it came. It was about 30 minutes into trading when Netflix, as you can see here, touched the high of the day exactly on the R1 level exactly on that level of the pivot point system and this is exactly where the computers are going to start selling the stock and indeed this is one of the techniques my traders are trained to do every day. So I placed my short entry just below this beautiful shooting star with the topping tail just below 202.98 and what a fall it made from high of the day to the law of the day in one non-stopping train. This is how I like my trade. All right, first of all, we have a couple of earnings after the closing bell yesterday, and the most interesting one is IBM, which leaped in the aftermarket session by almost 5% after beating expect expectations. Just look on the pop-up in the stock in the extended session. So make sure you have all of our stocks on the radar list on your screens today, because these are the stocks I am going to trade today. The eyes of the IPO market are on Asia this week and one is interesting ch Chinese IPO today is QD. The burning question of course is what makes these Chinese IPOs so hot in Wall Street market in today's market and in a word or two the tape. 
the good old fashioned Wall Street ticker tape. Um, this year alone, six Chinese IPOs have made debut in the US capital market. Five finished above their IPO prices, while w- only one was a loser. Now, the average gain for all six was 89%. And if you exclude the single loser, the average aftermarket gain for the five winners was 118%, 118%. That's an average gain, and that's what puts the Chinese IPOs in play. Quadian, QD, based in Beijing, and it offers online credit Uh, products using big data enabled technologies to transform the consumer finance experience in China and the company services hundreds of millions of um, uh, of quality con- consumers mostly young mobile active consumers in China so QD is on our um, on our screens today it's going to start uh, today thank you all for watching have a great training day and I'll see you in the next video bye bye